Hello everyone and welcome to ACAD Guild. In this video, we'll learn how to split panes, how to split panes into different sections basically. Now, what exactly is a split planes? Split planes is almost similar to freeze panes. So in the previous video, we have seen how to work on freeze panes. So if you have not seen that video, I request you to go through that video and then come to this split panes. Now split panes and freeze panes, what is the difference here? Okay, just have a look. I've kept my cursor some other location. Let's say I've kept my cursor on cell number I6. I'll go to view tab, freeze panes, and these are three different options we have seen. Okay, so once I click on this freeze panes, okay, a freeze would be, uh, you know, the cells would be frozen or the window would be frozen. Any cell, any column before this cell, any row before this cell, everything would be freezed here. But what is the problem here? If, if I just scroll on the right hand side, I cannot see the A and B column. You see, I cannot see A and B column. It has been freezed now, right? So I cannot go back and see the column here. Only in the formula bar, you see in the formula bar, it is showing which text is there and which cell number is there. But visually, you cannot see the text here. Okay, you cannot see A column, B column. This is the disadvantage or limitation of freeze panes. So I'll go to view tab, unfreeze panes. Now, why we use split panes? Have a look here. If I want to compare any column with any column, if I want to compare any column with any column. So let's say if I want to compare first name column with country column. Okay, so what I'll do is I can just keep my cursor here on this cell number in the cell number, let's say as B2. So all the columns before B2 and all the rows before B2 would be split. Okay, I repeat all the columns before B2 all the rows before B2 will be split. So I'll go to view tab and click on split pane. Now what has happened? What changes you can see on the screen? Now there are how many scroll bars? Horizontal scroll bar. There are two horizontal scroll bars. You see that's the first horizontal scroll bar, second horizontal. The, there are two vertical scroll bars. Now it is not visible. Let me show you that. Yeah, there are two vertical scroll bars. Now what is the benefit of doing this? If I move my scroll bar on the right hand side, you see, I'm trying to compare A column with F column or more specifically, if I say I'm trying to compare first name column with country column. Now, if I think I don't want to compare first name, I want to compare second name or last name. So now I'll click on this particular cursor. You see this one. I can compare any column with any column. You see, I can compare any column with any column. Right. Once again, once again, if I go back to view, split, it will go back away. Okay. Now, if I keep my cursor here, let's say in cell number F, F1 and go to view and select this option as split. If I click on the split, what has happened is now any column before this particular F1 has been split. And now you can clearly observe how many scroll bars are present. There are two horizontal scroll bars. Why no vertical scroll bar? If you see only one vertical scroll bar because my cursor is already in F1 cell above above the first row. There are no rows present. If I keep my cursor here and then split the panes before the second row, there's a first row so it, it can divide. Now there, there is no scope to divide. Now you ask me any row. Let's say if you want to compare first, uh, let's say first, uh, let's say row ID. So I'll go to this row ID. And if I want to compare with, uh, let's say city column, so I'll try to adjust the screen such that I'm able to see that. But now, yeah. Okay, there's no row ID, there's only first name and city. Let's say if I want to compare first name column with city, but do you think it's very far to compare? They are not side by side. I want to bring A column and D column nearby so I can easily compare. So it's not a problem. Simply select the split plane line here and you can drag it. You can drag it and keep it here itself. So what you can do is you can compare now A column, D column, first name with city column. Or if you want to compare with any column, like any column, you can scroll it. It's very simple here, right? So I can go back to view, click on split panes, done. Now the last one, if I want to compare two rows, let's say I want to compare row number seven, okay? Row number seven with the row number 47. Okay, this 47. Now it's very difficult to compare two rows. Okay, what I can do is if I want to compare seventh row, keep your cursor in A8 because before this eight row, a split line would be created. 
go to view tab and then you can click on split carefully observe now there are two vertical scroll bars two vertical scroll bars but only one horizontal scroll bar okay now by the by this now you can understand why not the horizontal scroll bars are present okay now i want to compare fourth row with 47th row so i can just move the second pane you see the first pane i'll keep it as it is and the second pane i'll try to bring 47th in front of 7th row now i can just compare the first name last name from both the places you see first name last name it's easy for me to understand and check whatever mistakes are done here right that's it so this is what we have seen about the split panes and i'll yeah one more thing if you want to just if you don't want to split panes if you want to remove it first method is view tab click on this button but the shortest method is simply double click on this line if you double click on this line the panes will go away okay and you see there's only one vertical scroll bar one horizontal scroll bar that means there are no split panes now right this is very easy here right so what we have seen right now is how to split panes vertically horizontally or both right this is what we have seen right so it is better as compared to free panes and i suggest if you want to compare the columns you can use this dynamic split panes option right i hope you have understood and that's all for this video